Hello everybody. So I wanted to do another video for you today. This is on the Next Gen Defense or the NG2 uh, Muzzle Max um, compensator. This is the uh, this is a new compensator that's recently come on the market. These guys have been uh, traditionally they've been making um, suppressors, but they're a company out of Utah, uh, Draper, Utah, and they've introduced this Muzzle Max. Uh, it's the first muzzle device to mitigate muzzle blast, recoil, and flash effectively in one package, utilizing advanced flow dynamics, or AFD, and our proprietary vent forward design. The VFD design implements our 3D delay, diffuse, and direct, direct gas management principle. The muzzle max redefines state of the art for firearms muzzle management. So that's a little bit of their, uh, their documentation. Um, they go on to say that they uh, created this device with law enforcement, military, competition, home defense shooters in mind. Uh, input from users in every field to achieve the perfect balance. The vent forward design directs muzzle blast away from the shooter and those around them and protects them from the damaging concussive effects of blast over pressure. It also directs the sound away from you uh, or the people closest to you, keeping you in the fight while mitigating hearing damage. Flash is suppressed to levels similar or to or exceeding current flash suppressor designs. More effective on shorter barrels, it maintains the sufficiency on entry rifles, even AR pistols, making it perfect for home defense. Recoil is noticeably reduced, allowing for faster follow-up shots and precision accuracy at distance. Muzzle neutral, it doesn't push your rifle in any direction, keeping you on target no matter the condition. Additionally, the, the AFD's Accuracy enhancing design directs gases off the center line of the bore and away from the bullet, reducing accuracy, robbing turbulence. NG2's Muzzle Max brings firearms muzzle devices into the next century and beyond. So, uh, a little bit more, they go on to say, um, you know, this uh, couple of their bullet points. It introduces recoil management, blast management, uh, true muzzle neutral. Uh, increased accuracy and in safety and flash management. So those are the few of the bullet points associated with this device. And I just wanted to kind of go into it, give you my impressions, tell you what I thought of it. Um, uh, it is a really cool um, little uh, device that they have here. So you can see it here. Um, it's uh, a different design. I mean, obviously it's a, a little bit bigger. This is the A2 flash suppressor or flash hider. And you can tell it's, it's uh, significantly larger than a A2 flash suppressor. And it's, it's, it's heavier. I mean, this doesn't, you know, weigh maybe a half an ounce or so. This, it weighs probably two ounces. I don't have the uh, specs on it or anything. But it's going to add a little bit of weight to your gun. I mean, right off the bat. But, and I'll roll in some some uh, shooting video, you can see that here. you have here is you have this so you have the four channels here and that's where the bullets obviously coming out and then on top you have four areas where they have three angled vent ports and inside there there's some interesting CNC going on I mean it's it's uh I mean you can't see down in there you may be able to see I don't think so yeah you're not gonna be able to see down inside there but there's some inter interesting CNC going on inside here. And that really does help with the way the, the blast pressures are being pushed forward on this. The gun doesn't rise. And I know that's kind of cliche, but you know I'm shooting here a 10.1 inch uh, AR pistol. And you can see in the video that, you know, the uh, range video, that there's very little muzzle rise on this gun. <laughs> Now, 
this isn't a hard shooting gun, but when you add in the fact that it's a 10 inch barrel, it adds a little weight. Um, it adds the, the way it's handling the gases, then, you know, you combine all those factors together and you can see, you know, just from the, the range video, how it's handling that. If you've ever shot, you know, a, uh, any of the other muzzle devices, they have a tendency to force the gases out the side. So by forcing the gases out the side on a smaller weapon here, you know, you're going to have a, a uh, shock or a blast wave that could be bouncing off of walls if you're doing an entry into a building or you're doing a clearing of your own home or whatever the case may be. If you have to fire those shots inside a closed quarters like a, you know, in a hallway or in a, in a, uh, in a room where you've got walls right next to you, if you've got those gases, you know, hitting off the walls and coming back at you, you're going to feel that concussive shock. Having it forward facing like this, having it, having the gases pushed forward, that's going to help mitigate that, that, uh, uncontrollable reflex. So when you start firing those rounds, if you're not, if you don't have that distractive energy where the gases are bouncing off the walls inside the room and they're all being pushed forward, you know, that's definitely going to be something that's going to help you. So, you know, God forbid ever, anybody ever has to use that, uh, this kind of a device in that scenario. Or maybe you're law enforcement, or maybe you're uh, you're military, and you're looking for something to give you just a little bit more of an edge, and you don't have the uh, the ability to go drop 600 bucks on a on a suppressor, or you know your department's not supplying them for you, or whatever the case may be, and you have a little coin and you want to throw it on you know the front end of your of your rifle. There's a lot a lot of technology going into this thing. It's not just a couple of uh, slats you know carved into a piece of steel and stuck on the end of your gun there's a lot going on in here and when you get this and you look down inside that you're going to see all the intricacies that are going on so whatever the uh the um gas dynamics i don't know what you would call that the uh the fluid dynamics that are going on with the energy or with the gas energy that's coming out of this out of this uh, pistol they figured it out because it was really working now I do have one complaint with this, and this is a uh, this is a minor complaint, but it's something to be aware of. If you're somebody like me who likes to keep the rifle clean, you want to run a patch through your through your gun. You know, I, I do bore snakes, but I also do patches. If you do a patch through this thing, once you get through the barrel and you go to push it out the end of the uh, the muzzle brake here, you're gonna get caught up in here. Your cotton patch is gonna get caught up. Um, the CNC, the the uh, the manufacturing processes that help uh, control the gases, also create a lot of snag points for your patch. So you're you know if you're running a cotton patch through there, um, you know it. I, I would just uh, I would stick with the boar snake because it's I got a patch wedged in there and it took me probably 20 minutes to get that patch unjammed from inside of here. So. It, it's created a lot of sharp angles on the inside and running a running a uh, cleaning rod with a patch on the end of it it got snagged up inside here and I couldn't get it out or I obviously I did get it out but it took a lot of effort so knowing that there's sharp edges in there will help you manage how you clean your rifle in the future so you know it is what it is it's a small thing but it's something to be aware of anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet, please subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram or the vid.me. I just started put uploading all my videos there as well. The demonetization of YouTube, um, diversifying your content library is going to be something that creators are going to have to definitely consider moving forward. Um, you know, YouTube's really come down on gun channels, gun content. So the only way to really, you know, maintain a presence on the internet is to diversify this kind of information sharing. So anyway, if you like it, go check it out. Um, you know, if you have any feedback, throw it in the comments. I'll be happy to dialogue with you and uh, look forward to talking to you again. Have a great day. See ya.